Good evening and welcome to the Novena to Our Lady of Consolation in preparation for the Feast of the Assumption of Mary. Today is the seventh day of this Novena. For our service this evening, you will need a worship aid which can be found at each entrance of the Basilica. Our celebrant this evening is Father Martin Day, Minister Provincial for the Province of Our Lady of Consolation. The carriers for the statue of Our Lady represent the Allos family. And the novena this year is being preached by Father Ken Barch. We would also like to remind you that confessions are available each evening before the novena from 7 to 8 p.m. in the Lower Basilica. Also, our ministers of prayer will be available each evening for those confessions. After the closing song this evening, you will be able to come forward and to be blessed individually with a relic of the true cross. The opening song for our worship is on our worship aid on the front page. Please stand and join us for our opening song. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Together, let's pray today's Novena Prayer. Most blessed Mary, kind and loving Mother, receive me, your child, into your tender care. In your life, Mary, you always offered kindness to those around you. Pray with me now to our loving Lord. 
that in my life I may reflect you through kindness. There are so many times in this life of ours, Mary, that kindness gives way to harshness. In the rush to get things done, I become quick and short with those around me. In my own little world, I often think only of my own plans, my own accomplishments, and I forget that I am only one of God's children, only one of your children. Dear Blessed Mother, teach me your ways. Help me to take more time with those who seek my time. I want to be like you, Mary, in every way. In the rush of each day, remind me to be kind. Pray with me now, Mary, as I place before our Lord the main intentions of this novena. Please ask our loving Savior to help me in these particular needs of mine. Turn your eyes, so filled with kindness, on me, gracious Mother, and help me as I trust so much in you. I desire always the kingdom of your Son. Help me to finish this day in his love and under your kind and gentle care. Mother of God, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first joyful mystery, the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, save us from our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The third joyful mystery, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth glorious mystery, joyful mystery, the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, 
Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, by whose death and resurrection has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. At this time, there we will be a collection for the maintenance and support of the shrine. We thank you for your generosity.
Please rise for a reading from the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks, receives, and the one who seeks, finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You may receive it. During this novena, I have been suggesting that we will know Mary, the Mother of God, better as we meet the inspired women of the Old and New Testaments. We have considered Eve, the mother of all the living, and Sarah, the mother of all God's faithful people. The conspirators who subverted the Pharaoh's decree that every boy, every Hebrew boy, should be murdered. We have remembered Ruth, and the warriors, Deborah, Jael, and Judith. Last night, we honored the ferocious Maccabean woman who had the helpless king begging her for, to relent. Each of these women speak to us of Mary. They reflect the woman who is the mother of all grace. Tonight, I want to reflect upon another unnamed woman of the Old Testament and to reflect upon her resemblance to the powerful friend and intercessor, Our Lady of Consolation. A reading from the, from the second book of Kings, chapter 4. One day, the prophet Elisha came to Shunem, where there was a woman of influence who pressed him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he would stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that he is a holy man of God. Since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. One day, Elisha arrived and, and stayed in the room overnight. Then he said to his servant Gehazi, Call the Shunammite woman. He did so. And when she stood before Elisha, he told Gehazi, Say to her, You have troubled yourself greatly for us. What can we do for you? Can we say a good word for you to the king? or to the commander of the army? She replied, I'm, I am living among my own people. Later, Elisha asked, what can we do for her? Gehazi answered, she has no son and her husband is old. Elisha said, call her. He did so. And when she stood at the door, Elisha promised, this time, next year, you will be cradling a baby boy. She said, my Lord, you are a man of God. Do not deceive your servant. Yet the woman conceived. And by the same time, the following year, she had given birth to a son. as Elisha had promised, and the child grew up healthy. One day the boy went out to his father among the reapers. He said to his father, my head, my head. And his father said to the servant, carry him to his mother. The servant picked him up and carried him to his mother. He sat in her lap 
until noon and then died. She went upstairs and laid the boy on the bed of the man of God. Closing the door on him, she went out and called to her husband, let me have one of the servants and a donkey. I must go quickly to the man of God and I will be back. He asked, why are you going to him today? It is neither the new moon nor the Sabbath. But she said, it's all right. When the donkey was saddled, she said to her servant, lead on. Do not stop my donkey unless I tell you. She kept going till she reached the man of God on Mount Carmel. When he saw her at a distance, the man of God said to his servant Gehazi, There is the Shunammite. Hurry to meet her and ask if everything is all right with her, with her husband, and with the boy. Everything is all right, she replied. But when she reached the man of God on the mountain, she clasped his feet. Gehazi came near to push her away, but the man of God said, Let her alone. She is in bitter anguish. The Lord hid it from me and did not let me know. She said, Did I ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, Do not mislead me? He said to Gehazi, Get ready for a journey. Take my staff with you and be off. If you meet anyone, give no greeting. And if anyone greets you, do not answer. Lay my staff upon the boy. But the boy's mother cried out, As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not release you. So he started back with her. Meanwhile, Gehazi had gone on ahead and laid the staff upon the boy, but there was no sound, no response. He returned to meet Elisha and told him, The boy has not awakened. When Elisha reached the house, he found the boy dead, lying on the bed. He went in, closed the door on them both, and pray to the Lord. Then he lay upon the child on the bed, placing his mouth upon the child's mouth, his eyes upon his eyes, and his hands upon the hands. As Elisha stretched himself over the child, the boy's flesh became warm. He arose, paced up and down the room, and then once more stretched himself over him, and the boy sneezed seven times and opened his eyes. Elisha summoned Gehazi and said, Call the Shunammite. He called her, and she came to him, and Elisha said, Take your son. She came in and fell at his feet and did him homage then she took her son and left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love that woman. The scripture says only that she was a woman of influence, but does not give her name. She knew how to get things done, and she did them. Married to an old man, she had taken charge of his household, his finances, and his servants. When she decided to add a room to the house, developing their flat roof into extra space where the prophet might stay, her husband readily agreed. When he asked her why she wanted to see the holy man, she didn't bother to answer him. Even when the prophet asked, if he might return the favor of her hospitality, perhaps a good word to the king or the commander of the army, 
She dismissed him. I am living among my own people, she said. Many men fear women like that. Unsure of themselves, they need their women to be submissive, obedient, and long-suffering. Some men went their wives or girlfriends or daughters to put up with their violence in silence. They should keep his abuse secret and never speak for themselves. If these perpetrators ask forgiveness for their abuse, they expect it immediately. Such men would flee from the Shunammite woman and from the mother of God. The woman's only vulnerability is her infertility. She's not had a child. It might be her husband's disability, since he is an old man, but it's a great sadness for her in any case, and she'd rather not talk about it. In fact, she is touchy about it. Very likely her neighbors, the local women, talk about it, but not to her face. It's a great disappointment, and some people think it's shameful. They whisper, perhaps she has sinned, or her parents have sinned, that the couple has no child. They wonder who will inherit their wealth, who will remember their names 50 years from now. But the prophet thinks he might do her a favor that she might appreciate a blessing neither she nor her husband has asked for. He says, this time next year you will be cradling a baby son. She is not smiling when she replies, my Lord, you are a man of God. Do not deceive your servant. Translation, don't mess with me, holy men. She might have walked out of the room at that point, leaving him amazed and his servant shocked by her impudence. Consider who he is. Elisha has inherited a double share of the spirit of Elijah. Elijah was the prophet who had personally cut the throat of 450 pagan priests after calling down fire out of heaven. Elisha also had called down fire from the heavens and incinerated 50 troublesome soldiers twice. On the third occasion, Captain of 50, who was sent only to ask him to come speak with the king, begged the holy man for mercy. No one can make a demand on God, and no one tells Elisha what to do. You don't go near this man, and you certainly don't touch him. But the Shunammite woman, because she had not asked for the blessing of a child, demands that he restore the child's life. She takes hold of him and would not let go of him. She holds him, she hauls him back to her home, saying, did I ask my Lord for a son? Did I not say, do not mislead me? The prophet wanted to send his servant Gehazi with his wonderful staff to take care of the matter. It's no big deal, he seemed to say. I can't be bothered. Gehazi will take care of it. But she will have none of that. As the Lord lives, and as you yourself live, I will not release you. He would personally go up to the room and raise the boy back to life. Meanwhile, Gehazi and his magic stick had failed to revive the boy. God would do as the woman wanted, and not as Elisha or Gehazi expected. So God answered the woman's prayers. Much as Jesus healed the Syrophoenician woman's daughter when she invaded his house, the disciples might complain about her Send her away, they say, but she will not go away when her daughter is dying, and certainly not because a bunch of men wishes 
she would go away. But you can see the Shunammites' resemblance to Mary. As St. Francis said, she is the spouse of the Holy Spirit. She knows the mind of God. Whatever God wants, Mary wants. She is not God, but her will is God's will. They have only one intention and cannot be pulled apart. What Mary wants, God wants. The Lord's words to, to us are fulfilled in her. He said, Amen, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will happen, it shall be done for her. And so we ask Mary to pray with us and for us. And we hope that our prayer is the prayer of Mary. Whenever we say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, we know she prays with us. Our words are her words. Will everything we want be granted? Not if we only pray for ourselves. And not if we're praying without Mary's purity of heart. Remember what Jesus said in the next sentence. When you stand to pray, forgive anything, forgive anyone against whom you have a grievance, so that your Heavenly Father may in turn forgive you your transgressions. This weekend, we come before Mary and the Lord to pray for ourselves, our families, friends, neighbors, and enemies. We pray for this nation and for our homelands far away. We pray for forgiveness of our sins and mercy upon the earth. Let us pray. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. God bless you.
have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of your kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Together we pray, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, through God and through man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Consoler. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and 